Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti, and this is episode 25 of the Cruiser Clash Tournament. We once again have the Stonewall Fortress by Cashin in this battle. Um, going twice in a row just because of how the, uh, the tournament is ending up. Just the only opponent that the Iron Side, which has not seen, uh, it hasn't had any screen time in a while, so I wanted to put it into the next battle, but the only opponent has left Stonewall Fortress, so Stonewall gets to go twice in a row. Uh, if you'd like to see any more detailed analysis of their uh, their weapons and armor and systems and such, the overview videos are linked, well, the playlist of the overview videos are linked to the description. For now, we're going to just get this battle underway, and we'll see what happens here, because both of these craft have some really heavy firepower. Um, but the Stonewall Fortress's HE shells may... Yeah, they're getting quite blocked by the uh, the shields there. Oh, but the EMP just knocked some the, the further shields out. Uh, I don't, and there, the uh, the Ironside finally got a cram volley off, but it's if it doesn't kill it with this one, I'm not sure it's going to be able to pull it off. Big explosion, but that was just the cram detonating. It doesn't look like it did much. Ironside is getting peppered by those 250 millimeter explosive rounds. Just all kinds of damage coming in on it. And those uh, EMP missiles ripping out its, its further shields allowed a lot of these barrels to get sheared off. And that's, that is not good. There's just so much Daka coming in from the Stonewall Fortress. You have to be, if you don't kill that thing quickly, it, it will make your life quite painful. Uh, here comes another missile strike as well. What's the missile strike? Oh, some of them actually missed. Just went over the top there. The cram shell landed, but it is not doing enough. And so far, just landed in the middle where the uh, the Stonewall Fortress isn't all that vulnerable. It needs to get those cram shells into the uh, the turret compartments. But I'm not sure it's even going to get to fire another volley. Yeah, th those 250 millimeter high explosive shells are doing some serious work. Ironside is listing heavily. And all of its guns on this side seem to have been knocked out. So the Stonewall Fortress is just uh, getting free reign on the iron side here. Uh, apologies there for the uh, headset keeps it, it's a wireless headset and it, it it's for some reason it keeps cutting out lately uh, but you know what can you do so the, the, the stone wall was continuing to just pummel away with those uh, 250 millimeter shells but it seems like it's it now because the iron sides is sort of sailing away though it's it's well within range still. Uh, it's trying to aim low and a lot of the shells were skipping off the water but now they seem to be doing just fine and are getting through and it's like this thing is the the iron sides basically been hollowed out. Oh and there goes the uh, the ammo rack and it is despawning. That is it. Round one goes to the Stonewall Fortress. Okay, we will get this reset. Get both entries spawned back in. And get the second round underway and see if that, uh. See if the iron side can get some better damage in this time around, or. If the Stonewall Fortress will, uh, be able to survive those couple first couple cram hits and basically just rip the iron side apart piece by piece. Stonewall Fortress, there we go. Make sure it's good. Oh, wrong button. Okay. Sorry about that. Kind of hit a wrong button and I had some notes up and I had to cut a little bit there, but just to show that the spawn is fine. It's up right there. They're, you know, a thousand meters apart. Everything's good. We will get the second battle underway. So yeah, like at first the uh, the HE don't do a whole lot because the shields on the iron side 
are quite strong, but since the iron side's flares don't seem to be working right, those EMP missiles come in and they knock out those further flares and then the HE can get closer and do some damage. And again, only a single cram shot makes it out of the first volley and it was deflected and detonated away. So this is not looking good for the iron side because it is once more being torn apart rather quickly by the uh, heavy amounts of Daka coming from the Stonewall Fortress. Ah, so those missiles missed. Huh. But a lot of the shields have been uh, torn down. So these these EM these uh, HE shells, they like each shell doesn't do a whole lot of damage to metal, but there's so many of them. And they do damage to multiple blocks, so it makes them, uh... Makes them quite deadly. If the flare system on the iron side was working, it would have done a lot better, I think. Uh, it's unfortunate that, for whatever reason, as we've seen in several other battles, it, the iron side just does not fire its flares properly. And that has, that has caused it quite a bit of grief. It looks like round two here is going to go the same way that round one did. It's just waiting for the uh, the Stonewall Fortress to chip away enough blocks to make the Ironside despawn. It's there is a lot of. Daka coming from these. These things are very high rate of fire and they are uh, 2 meter 250 millimeter shells. So they pack quite a punch and at that fire rate they are quite devastating and the iron side is despawning. That is it. The software claimed victory here. Uh, th the downside is that yes they are quite massive and uh if you actually get any sort of damage in here and hit one of these ammo racks, it goes up like 4th of July. But, yeah, Ironsides was unable to pull that off, so it, it, it has been defeated. The uh, Stonewall Fortress here will be given 6 points, and the Ironside will get 2. And this is, this is the last time we will see either vessel. We are on the last groupings of battles here. And we're getting down to the wire, getting close to to the aesthetics portion of the competition, where uh, there are, are several entries w that are very close in points. Where if they uh, the aesthetics portion could end up making a rather huge difference in who is uh, who's crowned the king here of the cruiser clash, but we will see what happens. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you on the battlefield.